Hey guys, today we have this HP Envy Photo Printer and we're going to try to get into the support menu from where you can reset the printer, where you can change your language and your region where you're at uh, so it accepts your ink and uh, so you can understand your screen. So um, this is the support screen, support menu here and uh, I'm going to show you how to get into that. So in order to get to that menu, you need to know where your back button is and usually you would see it here light up. But uh, if you press just for example a copy, you will see the back button appears right here, home button appears right there. So what you're just going to do is you're going to hit uh, on the um, back button area and that will allow you to get into the um, support menu. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go back and then I'm going to press the back button uh, which you can't see at this point. Um, you can see it at an angle when it's off. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit that area four times. One, two, three, four. And then that's how we get to the support menu. I'm going to show it to you one more time. One, two, three, four. And we get into the support menu. From there, you'll just go ahead and press the support menu. And then you're going to use these arrows on the screen. Uh, information menu, it'll just tell you uh, basic things about, for example, the counters will show you how many printer, uh, how many pages has have been printed on this pr printer. So at this, um, you can see it's 5,455 pages printed, um, total of 923 cycles. So that means there's like jobs that uh, were sent, 923 jobs. All right, to go back, you're just gonna press the um, the back button, the X right here. For example, if I was at counters, I'm just going to press X and it's going to go back out and then we're going to keep on going and all that. So we're going to go uh, press X again and go to a resets menu, press OK. If you need to reset country where you're located or language, um, then you can reset that. Then partial reset, semi full reset. Semi full reset is the most common one when you have an error on the screen and you want to try resetting your printer and see if that goes away. The semi-full reset is the way to go, and then um, there's more stuff like system configuration menu. You can, if there's a hardware failure of some sort, you can try that by just pressing the hardware failure status, press OK, and then to clear it, you press OK as well, and then go back. Um, so you can just play with all these um, different things. If you have connectivity issues, you can play there. If you need a report, like a quality report, you're going to press OK. Even though I don't think you need to go into this menu, you can do it probably from the setup menu on the printer. But if not, um, this is where you get it, like status report. Self-test will show you the quality <coughs> of print. And the print quality report also will show you the for each uh, the color. It'll show you how good it is and stuff or if it's missing any lines or anything like that. And to get out of the menu, you can just go ahead and press X. If you if you do like a reset, the printer will turn off by itself, and then sh you'll need to either turn it off uh, about 10 seconds after it's off, or it'll turn on. Um, so you just go back, and that's how you get out of the menu. So here, uh, I removed the cartridge, so it shows me an error of some sort. In my case, it's cartridge missing. If you have a different error, you can still try to go there uh, by into that support menu. So I know that there's three buttons here and the bottom one right here is going to be the back button. So I'm just going to go ahead and press that four times in a row. One, two, three, four. Takes me to that support menu as well. So try that if you have some error that you need to clear. Um, if you've tried everything manually inside the printer to fix and it didn't work, so try that. Um, but this is how you go into the support menu, that's how you reset the HP 7858, 7855 and similar printers. Um, it's very simple and hopefully it works for you and gets your printer to work again. So don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel and have a great day.